Oakland City Council hashed it out for hours, but finally approved an independent police commission. Now, voters have until November to decide if they're on board. KPIX 5's Ann Makovic is live in our newsroom on the measure that might spell major reform within Oakland PD. Now, this commission would have the power to fire a police chief and subpoena police records. If it is approved, citizens, not politicians or law enforcement officials, would have the final say on a lot of the rules governing the OPD. This would replace Oakland's Citizen Police Review Board, which investigates complaints and recommends disciplinary measures to the chief, but doesn't have any real authority. Some of the 75 speakers last night opposed part of the plan that would allow the mayor to appoint three members of the seven-member commission, saying politics will play too big a role. So I want to ask, what city are we really living in? Because we don't need any more hugs. We don't need any more barbecues. What we need is justice. But that controversial part of the measure did prevail. So if voters approve the commission in November, the mayor will pick three people and a selection committee would name the other four. This ballot measure joins another big one for Oakland on the November ballot, one that would put strict rent controls in place. It is going to be an interesting election indeed. Live in the newsroom, Ann Mack of KPIX 5. Yeah, sounds like it. It sounds like this vote came at the last minute, Ann. Yeah, real sense of urgency last night. This was the council's final meeting before the deadline to place measures on the November ballot. That is August 12th. Last night's vote was unanimous.